Welcome, Blessed Soul family. I am the Magical Medium, and welcome to my channel. And welcome to the new subscribers. We're plugging along, but we're getting there. Today is the first quarter moon in real time. It's also Mother's Day. So, Blessed Mother's Day. By the time you see this, it may be after Mother's Day. I'm not sure when they're going to have me post it. Um, but I did do a beautiful um, short reading from the Divine Feminine Oracle. Uh, I posted it on, by the time you see this, it'll be on TikTok. So there will be a link below to my TikTok, TikTok channel. And you don't have to be a member of TikTok to watch the videos, by the way. Um, I don't know if you have to be a member to comment. I don't know how that works, um, but I, I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fairly new to it myself. Uh, but I did a beautiful reading from the Divine Feminine uh, from Shekinah. It was beautiful. I highly recommend you go over there and check it out. It was about seven minutes, I think. They're allowing up to 10 minutes now. I think I joined TikTok at the perfect time so I could do these nice little short uh, readings. Anyway, before you are four readings, and I'll start from left to right. We have reading number one, the medicine shield. Reading number two, the eagle. Reading three, the badger. And reading four, the prairie dog. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to go down, but there are other spirit animals in each pile. So this actually comes from the medicine. They call them the medicine cards. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, but they call them this book. I've had it for a while now, but they call them the medicine cards. And here you go. <laughs> the medicine cards and the book is invaluable honestly it's amazing you can see it's like falling apart because I use it so much it's so amazing um but yeah and right before this right before I shot this Baba uh my familiar if you're not familiar <laughs> with her my familiar's name is Dolly Parton Pickles but she goes by Baba Baba the Great <laughs> And she's quite magical. And so we had some great moments today out in nature, uh, connecting with Gaia, the blessed mother of all. I sang a nice song to her today. And um, anyway, but Baba called my attention to this pheasant. And I saw, I was like, oh my gosh. And I saw the pheasant. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. And then it was like gone. I saw it and then it was gone. It was kind of far away. And I'm like, I think that was a pheasant. And then when Baba called me over, this pheasant was like right in the road. So I took a video of it. I don't know when they're going to have me post it. You may have seen it by now. I have no idea. I'm posting a lot of things to, or I'm recording a lot of things today, but I don't know when they'll be posted. Um, but yeah, it was really amazing. So I'm actually excited to look that up for myself. But I do feel if, um, if you're pulled to it as well, uh, to research the pheasant's uh, spirit animal, spirit medicine. I do not know if there will be a pheasant in the cards because I pulled each reading. I pulled the cards for each reading already. And so far, these are the only ones I've seen. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you which pile, but one of the piles, guess what? <laughs> guess what was in there? The ant, like they are not playing and look at, oh my gosh, look at, look, look at the ant, look to the left, look to the left, look down, look down, look down. Oh my gosh, there's the lone ant. I'm telling you, you guys. I am telling you, it's like there's an ant puppeteer. And if this is the first time you're ever seeing my readings, or if you haven't watched any of these readings, you know, in the last three or four readings, the ant has been like, quote unquote, badgering us, pun intended. <laughs> but, um, you know, to, to really, you know, heed their advice and heed their words of wisdom. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to hear what the medicine cards have to say from the ant, because I know a lot of what other, you know, seers, uh, and mediums have written about the ant spirit animal, but these are the medicine cards. And actually this deck, um, let me open it. It's from, Jamie Sams and David Carson, and the illustrations are by Angela Wernicke or Wernick, Wernicke. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of really cool, like the medicine in these cards are so beautiful. Like some of them will be able to get the captain obvious of it. Right. But then for the other ones, um, you know, it's like from their interpretations and spirit wanted me to read from the book. And it says, in compiling the medicine that we have learned from the animal kingdom and our teachers throughout the years, when she's saying we, she's talking about Jamie and David. 
Okay, so it says, we have discovered that these teachings need to be released in order to aid the mass consciousness. In the spirit of the wolf clan, we as teachers have therefore chosen to devise a method of divination to assist each soul to find its personal pathway through the medicine of animals. The teachings vary from tribe to tribe. Therefore, we have used certain aspects of each animal's medicine to relay life lessons that apply to the human search for unity with all our relations. It is through nature that the teachings come, and it is to nature that we will all return. Each part of creation has a distinctive and valid place in the medicine wheel of all that is. We are very fortunate to have been handed down these teachings from many elders in the Choctaw, the Lakota, the Seneca, the Aztec, the Yaqui, Cheyenne, Cherokee, Iroquois, and Mayan traditions. Due to the diverse teachings of these traditions, we have only scratched the surface of a deep understanding that is possible with this system of divination. Our purpose in creating this system is not to cover all the teachings on animal medicine that have ever been. Our intention as shamans and healers is to begin a process for many people who have never understood their connection to our Mother Earth and to all her creatures. We hope to open a new doorway of understanding for those who seek the oneness of all life. The visions that we have been given of this system are that it is a fun bridge which will be a which will aid in the understanding of what it means to quote unquote walk in balance on the earth mother. Ugh, I love that they're having me do this on Mother's Day. I love you, spirit. This is so beautiful and profound. Our personal power animals have spoken to us through the Dream Lodge and have asked for our assistance in spreading the understanding that all life is sacred and in sharing the lessons which they have to impart. This system of divination and understanding has brought great medicine to our own lives and has been a very powerful and joy-filled journey in the making. It is a quote-unquote giveaway from the four-legged, the creepy crawlers, the finned ones, and the winged ones. May it enrich the lives of all you whom it touches, and may all of you feel our love as you journey with us. Four Winds, Jamie Sams and David Carson. And then I'm going to see if I'm, if I'm going to, I'm going to try and pronounce this. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it right or not, but Da Na Waiola. And that means it is said, it is good. Oh, I got the chills. Did you guys get that? Oh my gosh. Okay. The next it says an animal medicine to understand the concept of medicine in the native American way. One must redefine quote unquote medicine. The medicine referred to in this book is anything that improves one one's connection to the great mystery and to all life. This would include the healing of body, mind, and of spirit. This medicine is also anything that brings personal power, strength, and understanding. It is the constant living of life in a way that brings healing to the Earth Mother and to all of our associates, family, friends, and fellow creatures. Native American medicine is an all-encompassing way of life, for it involves walking on the Earth Mother in perfect harmony with the universe. Our fellow creatures, the animals, exhibit habit patterns that will relay these messages of healing to anyone astute enough to observe their lessons on how to live. The precious gifts of true medicine are free. Each lesson is based on one major idea or concept, and for the sake of simplicity, each animal has been assigned one of these lessons. I'm, I'm getting really emotional. They just showed me some stuff. Oh, okay. Excuse me for a minute, you guys. I'll be right back. I'm like, blessed ancestors, thank you. Oh, it's like heavy. I can't seem to stop crying. I paused and stopped, and now I'm like, I started to read again, and I'm just feeling it. So they're saying, feel it. You know, this um, heavy energy. Whenever you watch this, it's timeless, of course, but like, especially to the empaths, like, we need to feel this right now. And the animals are really special. And when I was t 
teaching, or excuse me, when I was learning from my teachers and shamans, my Native American shamans, um, I really connected to the ancestors. Uh, I come from the Cherokee, my, my lineage does. And so um, if you have any Native medicine, this may be really, you know, touching for you as well. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, you guys watch my readings all the time. I've been broke down like this in a really long time. It's because it's from our higher selves. These messages are from our higher selves and from the ancestors. Also, my partner is in the house and they are working with ayahuasca and, and meditation on their own right now. And my familiar is in here as well. Um, They just want us to feel. I think a lot of us have been like keeping guarded, you know, because um, it's really tough out there. So it's, I don't know if you're like me, but I've been like on autopilot and, uh, you know, I'm present, but, and I cry. I mean, yesterday I cried over season three of Cobra Kai. <laughs> we like, we binge watched Cobra Kai season three. <laughs> it was... I was like having all of these moments. I don't want to give anything away if you are in my age group and you watch, or it doesn't matter how old you are, but if you've watched the original Karate Kid movies and now you're watching the Cobra Kai series, if not, I highly recommend you watch it. <laughs> because there was just so much good medicine in there. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> it's like... I also um, have past life ties to Japan, so... I have a lot of past ties to the Asian culture. I've got a lot of Chinese and kanji on me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, and I, I worked with a Chinese uh, healer once, and and uh, I was, like, saying something about my kanji, and he's like, Chinese, Chinese. He's like, <laughs> he's like, China was here before. I'm not being disrespectful. He was amazing, but he was like, China was there before Japan. He's like, you know, he's like, we migrated there. He's like, but we, uh, you know, he's like the Japanese come from China. Anyway, this is what they want us to remember is the indigenous medicine. <laughs> and to connect deeply with it. Because a lot of us, if you found yourself here today, you know, we are here to really change the world and we can't do that until we change ourselves and it's really hard to do and I'm with you my partner and I are struggling as well but also in a beautiful way like this has been like the biggest gift this energy I don't know if you guys feel that but like I feel very humbled by it and I love how spirit puts things in my in my path and my partner's path you know like watching things like you know the respect of karate and like how it came to be. And it's just really cool. It's just, you know, these traditions and, you know, there's this scene where they go to Okinawa and I, you know, it's just like Daniel son is just like blown away, like how much it's Americanized and how, how sad it made him. And, um, you know, it's like, there's nothing against America, you know, like I love that those, you know, the people who came to, you know, anywhere, whether it's America, any islands, any lands, you know, they were looking for something different, something better, trying to fight, a, you know, run away from oppression, darkness, you know. But then, you know, you realize that you can't run away from anything. You have to face it because the darkness lies in all of us all the time. It's there for a reason right? If we didn't have some darkness, we wouldn't know how to protect ourselves. And as beautiful and regal and gorgeous as that eagle is, that eagle wouldn't bat an eye to, you know, nab a prairie dog off the ground and eat it because he's got to eat. He's not like, oh man, I feel bad. I got to kill a prairie dog. He's like, I got to fucking eat. I'm a vegan myself, so I can't handle it. We watched this movie last night with this animal like this movie it was like really good and this one animal was you know died in it and I had a feeling it was going to die but I was just wondering like how it was going to die and what was going to happen and man I fucking like cried for like a, like really hard when it happened like it happened to me 
And not just that at the loss of it for the child, you know, for the beautiful soul that lost the animal. It was more like, a, you know, I don't want to see anything die. But I believe that that is something that isn't realistic because we all die and we all live. And my partner has been really working closely with the ayahuasca lately. And it's amazing how, you know, they've been really opening my eyes and teaching me again, like kind of bringing me back to self and bringing me back to earth and helping me to understand how intense and beautiful and, and wonderful the circle of life really is. And that we are here for the plants and the plants are here for us. We give each other sustenance. We take care of each other. We look out for each other. You know, we've come far, far, far away from the roots of Mother Earth and why she's here. And you know what I mean? So I feel like this reading couldn't have come at a better time because in the first quarter moon, it's all about taking action. It's about taking action. So these messages are from our higher selves that are channeled on through from our ancestors and through our ancestors. Our higher selves are our ancestors. You know, if you've got a really, you know, close bond to Caesar, you know, you probably were Caesar in another life, you know, um, you know what I mean? It's like, there's just so much connection to all of it and these life lessons and the things that man has done and created. But the best, le oh, I got the chills all of a sudden. It's so weird. I felt so hot and all of a sudden I'm so cold, but I could feel the ancestor sitting with me like really seriously right now. It's because we are the earth. You know, when we die, our bodies, it, you know, whether we're cremated or we go into the ground, we go into the earth. We all recycle back into the earth. And if you think about it, it's like every single solitary thing we create goes back into the earth. That's why people get upset about plastics or why Save the Soil is really big right now. Satguru is like out there on a mission. That's why he went across country on a motorcycle. You know, it's like he wasn't always Satguru. At one point, you know, he was who he, who, you know what I mean? Like who he was as a younger man and, you know, watching him ride that motorcycle. If you haven't seen like clips of him, it's, it's quite amazing. And if you've never heard of Satguru, um, I highly recommend you seek him out. I will see whatever spirit wants me to put, um, in the description box and those of you who are new here always look in the description box not just for your the link to your personal reading um, but also there's always things that come up from the readings that spirit has me put down there just in case you forget you know you can go back down reference it there's a lot of links there also for my social media and to donate to myself and the tribe if you'd like to donate oracle decks or tarot decks but we're coming together in a really profound time. And we must never forget that this is the very, very beginning of the age of Aquarius. You know, it wasn't a light switch moment. We just came out of Pisces. You know, so it's going to take a good hundred years for things to settle in, for things to really change. And for those of us that are here right now, we are warriors. It is a battle. It's a spiritual battle. It's, it's not fought with guns and knives. It's fought with our souls and our consciousness. And there are many light workers that are here right now, but there are some profound light workers that have a much greater, much grander purpose than others. And if you have found yourself here, you are one of those people. So thank you for being a part of this tribe. Thank you for supporting this tribe. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and passing this information along. This is how we do it, you know? I've been hearing that song all day, and I didn't get it till now. You know that song, this is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I gotta lighten things up, right? But like, that had to come out. That had to come out, just like I had to watch those things so that I can bring them to you. I'm a, I'm a medium, that's my job. I'm a channeled messenger. I bring the messages, the messages. That's my job. I didn't want to go back on social media and spirit said, this isn't about you. <laughs> and they're like, and you don't have to look at anything. Your job is to go on there, post shit and get off. You don't have, you can stay on there and not, they're like, that's your free will. But they're like, that's your job. 
Like I just realized I haven't put anything on Twitter for a minute, but, but it doesn't matter because <coughs> speak your truth, right? Because those messages are out there anytime that we need them. They're there and they're available because all of these readings are timeless. So the last few things from the spirit animals are each lesson is based on one major idea or concept. And for the sake of simplicity, each animal has been assigned to one of these lessons. In reality, each animal in creation has hundreds of lessons to impart to us. And all of those lessons are powers that can be called upon. When you call upon the power of an animal, you are asking to be drawn into complete harmony with the strength of that creature's essence. Gaining understanding from these brothers and sisters of the animal kingdom is a healing process and must be approached with humility and intuitiveness. Certain aspects of the lessons given by these brothers and sisters have been chosen to reflect the lessons each spirit needs to learn on the good red road. These are the lessons of human being, being vulnerable and seeking wholeness with all that is. They are a part of the pathway to power. The power lies in the wisdom and understanding of one's role in the great mystery and in honoring every living thing as a teacher. The lessons taught are eternal and they are forever forthcoming. If the learning is over, so is the magic and the life. This system of divination is one tiny aspect of the process of teaching a person how to be intuitive how to seek the truths of nature, how to relate to the great mysteries creatures, and how to observe the obvious in the silence. This silence of the quiet mind is the sacred fertility of the receiving spirit. If you use this divination tool in silence, you will find a wondrous new world speaking to you through the ways of your fellow creatures. It is possible to find animals that speak to you in a particular way, the way of power. These creatures may carry special medicine for you and will call to you in the dream time if you are to study them more closely. Your power ally is a certain species with which you have recognized an important connection, and this species becomes your teacher with whom you allow yourself to grow and learn. Nothing can replace the observation of these creatures and their natural habits, for this connects you with the earth, the animal, and the great mystery. The spirit of the power ally may choose at times to enter the consciousness of one who has walked the medicine way for many years and align itself to aid in healings. This is a part of the initiation process of animal medicine and brings great power to the healer. In learning to call on the medicine of any person, creature, or natural force, one must maintain an attitude of reverence and be willing to accept assistance. For instance, small native children know that if they are lost, they call on the medicine of their parents. This brings to the child the strength of the parents, even though they are not physically present. The parents will feel the pull of the child's need and oftentimes will be able to see physically through the eyes of their child and determine their location. This is a kind of power that comes from the idea of unity and of each being having within itself a part of all other beings. It is the law of oneness. It is also possible to call upon the power or medicine of an animal when one is in need of specific talents. As all things in this universe have the same building block, the atom, it is relatively safe to assume that we all communicate through the common denominator of each atom, which is the creative force or great spirit that lives within the great mystery. It is the teaching of these truths that has brought native people to understanding and it, it is these same truths that may open this door for you. Okay, you guys, oh, thank you for hanging in there for the description of this very powerful reading, this life-changing reading. Thank you, thank you, Spirit, as we lead our way into the deeper shadow of the lunar eclipse and into the full moon in Scorpio and in the, into the Mercury retrograde. Like I said, all of the information is below the links to each reading. We have reading one, two, three, and four. Medicine Shield, the blank is one, and the Prairie Dog is reading four. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Listen to that, <clears throat> my throat chakra. It's time for us to move forward. I love you so much, and I'll see you over at your reading. Blessed be.
Oh, 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 wait, before we go, Spirit also wanted me to say, for those of you who don't know this, when you hear me say at the end of a reading, blessed be, aho, blessed be comes from my witch ancestors, my magical ancestors from my Celtic side. I have many, many strong lineage that comes from Europe, but specifically from the United Kingdom. So Blessed Be is a very pagan, witchy, you know, it's, um, it's been around forever. Aho. And Blessed Be is like, and so it is, and, you know, amen, you know, kind of thing. And Aho is the Native American way of saying Blessed Be. But it's saying, it's like saying amen. It's like aho. Okay, so when you hear me say that, that comes from my Native American lineage. And one of my shamans that I worked with used to say, blessed be aho. And she, that we both come from very similar backgrounds that way, from our witchy and our Native American. And she too is Cherokee. And so I asked her, um, I said, I don't want to steal things from people. I'm like, but I feel like, that I'm supposed to say that too. And she was like, Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but that's why I say that. So if you're ever wondering why I say that at the end, it's me saying to you. And so it is. Amen. Like, thank you. You know, it's like, thank you to the universe. Thank you to spirit. Thank you to everyone. It is the oneness, goodbye, ending and gratitude. Okay. So just so you know, so I'll see you over at your reading. Blessed be. Oh.